How's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to make a hard drive only accessible by certain users on your PC. For example, you have a computer that you built yourself and it has two hard drives inside. One is obviously the boot drive for the operating system and then let's just say you have another hard drive that you're using for your personal data and you only want that to be accessible by your usernames and your user account. So, for example, here we have two user accounts. One is uh, with the username admin owner, and then another user account with the username user guest. So, admin owner is the administrator, and then user guest is obviously the guest account. So, I've now logged into an administrator account which was uh, admin owner. And um, as you can see on this PC, there are two internal hard drives, which is the disk K and disk C. Uh, the middle one here is just an external hard drive. Now, disk C is obviously the boot drive, which has the operating system, and we're not going to worry about the middle one. Um, the one I am going to be worrying about is Kingsley storage drive, and that's my own personal hard drive, and obviously I only want that to be accessible to myself and myself only. As you can see though, I am sharing this hard drive on the network. That's obviously so I can access it from my laptop or any other PCs belonging to me that's on my uh, local network. So to do this, just right click and then go to properties. It's actually very, very simple. Um, then what you want to do next is go to security. Now, as you can see, it says here users and then it says administrators and then it says system and uh, authenticated users so what you want to do is just remove the users and to do this you go into edit click on users and remove then click apply and OK so what that's doing now it's uh, removing uh, the users, as in like just any other random user that's being created on this PC, it's removing them from being able to access it. So we'll just go back into properties again and then have a look. Um, as you can see now, it's only uh, accessible by administrators, uh, system, the system and authenticated users. Uh, you could change this again and remove it from only being from being accessible by administrators and then just limit it to that user account. So we could just go to add and then advance, find now. I'll just stretch this out a bit so we can see. And we just need to find this user account, which is a, uh, sorry, I'll just get that up here. which is admin owner and this is the only account I want it to be accessible by uh, so I just need to find that so there's admin owner it was obviously at the top so we'll just click OK and then OK again and now it's accessible by admin owner so we'll just remove this leave the system permission for the system to be able to use it and then remove administrators. You don't really want to remove the system. So when we go back into this and then give it full control for admin owner and then click apply. And it'll just do the same thing again. So remember, my advice would be to leave, go back into properties again, sorry about this. Uh, leave system and then the user account. So this is your username. So just imagine this is your name uh, coming up there whatever the username is and system that's all you need to do and then get out of that just follow the same steps it's quite easy and obviously I could have done this a lot faster so now if we just log out of this uh, user account and we head into the user guest account and watch what happens when we go to computer to get the hard drive see access denied now previously this hard drive would have been accessible by the user account 
and we switch it again back to the account that it's accessible by and as you can see I'm able to access all the documents and they are on this hard drive that's it it's really simple now you have to be careful when you're uh, removing the users like I said don't remove the system because obviously the system needs to be able to communicate with their hard drive you might have to reformat it again if you um, run into some problems so just follow the same steps it's quite easy and it's also good for privacy as well so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out thanks for watching please um, comment like the video and subscribe.